good guys your boy Jason JV here coming at y'all with a different video you know what I'm saying and yeah look I just want to share my thoughts on the Super Bowl halftime show and look I know there were some people that were addressing like some of the political aspects of certain things that happened during the performance now look and then of course you know obviously these guys None of them, with, with the exception of Kendrick Lamar, are spring chickens anymore. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, yeah, they're 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 older now. You know what I'm saying? Some are in their 40s, some are in their 50s, and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Now look, this is the music that obviously I grew up on, right? Being I'm a Cali boy, you know what I'm saying? I'm heavily influenced by these dudes. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I grew up listening to uh, Dre. I grew up listening to Snoop. Uh, Snoop, I don't really listen to like his older stuff because look, I don't agree with the man's politics. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I really don't want to get into to the politic uh, aspects. I'll just say this much. You know, Snoop's politics. You know what I mean? Like I said, I I don't agree with, but a hey, I do have to understand and respect the fact that a hey, the man is entitled. You know what I mean? Like the rest of us to believe whatever he wants, to say whatever he wants. You know what I mean? Whether he's right or wrong, you know what I mean? That's up for, you know, debate. You know what I mean? That's up to a matter of opinion. Uh, and, uh, but the thing about Snoop, like I said, he's one of those dudes that I grew up listening to as well. And no matter what, I will always listen to, like, the old school Snoop Dogg stuff. You know what I mean? Like, his Death Row stuff, his No Limit stuff. And uh, that will probably be it as far as, like, you know, my for my Snoop Dogg catalog, you know what I'm saying, and, um, you know, I, and, and I thought both Dre and Snoop, you know what I mean, they did their thing, they held their own, they did, did their thing, God bless them, and uh, Kendrick did his thing, Mary Jane did her thing, you know, overall, I thought it was a decent show, uh, Eminem, of course, you know, came out, did his thing, and then, of course, you know, he did the, uh, he pulled the old uh, Colin, uh, Kaepernick, you know what I'm saying, doing the doing the uh, Kaepernick kneeling and everything, which you know, I have my own opinions about that, but uh, I'll keep those to myself because again, you know, um, I, I I don't agree with Eminem's politics either. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like the things that, that, that he has said in the past, you know what I mean? It's a matter of opinion to which he is entitled to express his opinion. You know what I'm saying? Just like the rest of us are. Um, I'm just gonna say like look I don't, I don't agree with the kneeling but it's not much I can do about it I have to you know respect this man's right you know what I mean I have to respect his entitlement you know what I'm saying um, but yeah anyway um, 50 cent yeah I noticed that the man you know what I mean he put on he put on some pounds you know what I mean obviously he, he you know again you know what I mean he's one of those dudes you know he's He's not getting any younger. None of these guys are. None of these guys are getting any younger. You know what I mean? Um, but, hey, it is what it is. I, I, I was just glad, you know, again, all the politics aside, I was just happy to really see these guys come out and perform these songs that I grew up listening to. You know what I'm saying? Again, this is the music that I grew up on. This really took me back, you know, to the days of growing up in the hood, hanging out with my homies and everything, and just throwing out some Dre, some Snoop. Some Pac, you know what I mean? Um, R.I.P. Pac, you know, Machiavelli lives on, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it's 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 heartbreaking that he wasn't there. Um, but shout out to Dre for playing a little bit of Pac, you know what I'm saying? And performing his part of California Love, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I, I respect Dre for doing that, you know what I mean? Paying that homage, showing showing that, 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 uh, that respect, paying that homage and paying tribute to Pac, you know what I'm saying? Kudos to Dre for that. And uh, another thing I noticed too, and this this was a little heartbreaking uh, for me, but uh, where was Ice Cube? I would love to have seen Ice Cube, you know, there with Dre, performing some classic NWA tracks. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. I'm going to smoke when I want to smoke. Fuck that. I'm going to choke who I want to choke. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. I would love to hear some classic NWA like, yo, let's go. Gangsta, gangsta. It's not about salary. It's all about reality. Bruh, I would have loved to have heard some of that stuff, man. But 
it is what it is at the end of the day. I'm I'm still happy with what we got. I I, I love the uh, the uh, setting too. You know what I'm saying? You got the houses. You know what I mean? It looked like a freaking block party. You know what I mean? You got the low riders out there and everything. The drop tops. Like bruh, bruh. Ain't nothing but a gangster party. You feel me, man? So yeah, yo, my overall thoughts. Hey, look, I I was happy to see everybody reunited, man. It definitely took me back to like. You know, that, that time period between, like, the late 90s and early 2000s. You know what I mean? It looked like the uh, the uh, Up in Smoke tour, you know what I'm saying? To a degree. To a degree. Not not exactly, but to a degree. And, uh, but, yeah. It, it, it was dope, man. It, it was dope overall. You know what I mean? Again, I would love to have seen Cube there. I would love to have seen, you know, any, any other members of NWA being there. MC Ren, DJ Yella, you know what I mean? If they're still around, I would love to have seen them there, you know? Just to kind of get everyone back together and, and, you know, reunited and everything. But it is what it is overall. And like I said, yeah, I saw some of the, you know, some, some things, some political statements being made and everything. And I, I most definitely could have done without that. But like I said, at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Whether we agree with these guys' politics or not, we all have to understand and respect the fact that, hey, these guys are just as entitled as we are. You know what I mean? And so, and I think understanding that, it's really going to help bring this country back together. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, man, it's okay for us to disagree with each other, but we don't got to be hating each other over it. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. And that's just pretty much my overall thoughts on the Super Bowl uh, halftime show. Let me know if you guys agree and or disagree in the comment section down below. If you guys watched it, let me know what part was your favorite part. Um, my, my favorite part was the whole show. I, I, I just love the, the whole show, you know what I mean? And um, I found it funny because, you know, it was it was the Rams versus the Bengals. And um, I know I said a total of final thoughts, but just, just some final thoughts before I close this out. I will be closing this out shortly. But, uh, yeah, I just thought it was weird. You know what I mean? You have these West Coast guys performing this halftime show, but yet you didn't have the Niners in the Super Bowl. What the hell, man? That would have made more sense. You know what I mean? To have the San Francisco 49ers being out there from the West Coast as well. Bay Area. You know what I'm saying? Yay area. I'm just saying. It would have been fitting to have them in the bowl, but, I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Either way, I, I, I still dug that halftime show. It was it, it was nice. It was simple. You know what I mean? You could tell. It was just. It was just about. It was just about having fun. You know what I mean? They kept it simple. You know what I mean? It was short. It was sweet. You know, and yeah. Overall, I enjoyed it. So yeah, let me go ahead and get this proper closing. All right. If you guys, you guys are about that that halftime show. Let me know if you didn't like it. Let me know about that as well. You know what I'm saying? Again, what parts uh, of the show did you like? If if you're someone that enjoyed the show, what was your favorite part? You know what I'm saying? Obviously, if you didn't care for it, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I look forward to checking out y'all's feedback, as I always do. If you're with this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? We really appreciate that. Don't forget, of course, to check out all the links in the description down below. You know what I'm saying? And also, don't forget, reaction request instructions. If you want to properly uh, submit a reaction request to your boy over here, please take a look at the instructions. It tells you on top of the uh, description for reaction requests. Please read the description. All right. So there's absolutely no excuse for those of you. And don't think I haven't been watching. I mean, some of you have been getting your comments deleted. And there's a reason for that. I have it at the very top of the description in all caps. Please read description for reaction requests. You know what I mean? If you want me to check out something, if you want me to react to something, you know what I mean? You keep putting your requests in the comments. I'm sorry. but And it, and it tells you in the description as well. This rule applies for everybody. Your are your requested comments will be removed. You know what I mean? And if you keep spamming my, my chat, you will be blocked. I just blocked somebody not too long ago because they kept spamming my channel with the same comment. Oh, uh, I would really like it if you react to uh, this song of mine. I promise you I'm fire. I bet you are. But guess what? Since you didn't properly submit your reaction request, delete and block. I'm just saying. Don't forget, guys, underneath the instructions, we have the two-store link, Spring Merch Store, Kula Hawaii CBD, both of which will have their own discount slash coupon codes. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. Also, don't forget to uh, show love to all the folks that I rock with in the folks that I rock with section. You know what I'm saying? Let's help get the fan bams numbers up. That would be greatly appreciated. 
And uh, I think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. So y'all take care. Bless one. Catch y'all next one. Peace.